Hey guys, it's Bullets. It's Chris Tomer with this afternoon update. We'll look at some new numbers, trends, see what's going on. Here are my bullet points. So we're entering a quiet period. With the exiting of this Arctic front, it's going to be much quieter for the inner mountain west. Now through about 2-4. Uh, during that quiet period, though, there's a bullseye that's going to set up. 2-3, 2-4, 2-5, 2 Pacific Northwest and BC. I'll show you some of those forecast totals that I have, but that area will receive one to two pretty big slugs of moisture um, that'll, that should nail Baker and Stevens and uh, Whistler. Um, then there's a storm system that will flatten the high pressure ridge across the Intermountain West on or after 2-5, and that will usher in some nice totals. Um, Tetons, to some degree the Wasatch and in Colorado and in Idaho as well. Uh, Montana, so we'll look at that uh, change of the pattern on or after 2-5 coming up as well. Let me take you to, so this is visible and it's looking good. So you see all this white that's not moving across Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. That's all just snow cover out there, which is always cool. You can spot that on visible. So the big features, low, low, and then there's also a low near Hawaii, kind of uh, in the flow uh, with a big trough. So it's kind of like this. That, that low over Hawaii may actually cut off, but it's doing this sort of number. And so then you've got, that's the jet. You've got a big high in here. And then there was that, there's that Arctic air that settled in across the, uh, the Intermountain West. But what's gonna happen is, let me get my green. The flow will adjust. This high will kind of emerge as the dominant feature over the Intermountain West. And this flow is gonna become rich into this area right here. Um, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight. Then what's behind that, the whole low and the whole trough will then flatten the high and then move into the inner mountain west. Two five and after two five. I actually wrote about it on my blog this morning. Christomer.com. Storm system two five Pacific Northwest Bullseye. So take a look at that. There's the setup. And here's the forecast pattern, the jet stream on 2-9. Um, so quiet period for the Intermountain West after that storm moves through. So it gets quiet again um, and with kind of a little high moving back in. But then there's another low on 2-9. You can see it, the dip in the jet, nailing the Pacific Northwest in BC. Then that will move into the Intermountain West. So it's just kind of a, a train, a wave train. Um, let's look at timing while we have this up. So look how quiet it is across the Intermountain West. All the action's up in BC. There's 2-2 two, two in the morning. There's Friday 2-3 in the morning. New low hits the Pacific Northwest, sends a little bit of snow into the interior, but it's not much. And look at that flow into Baker and Whistler. Um, and then here comes the storm that flattens the ridge. On 2-5, it starts to make its move into the interior with some snow for California, 2-4, two, 2-5. Two, and then it hits the Tetons, hits the Wasatch, hits Sun Valley, Brundage, Schweitzer, Schweitzer, and then eventually it'll make, it'll make its move into Colorado. Um, two five two six two seven two eight. In fact, looking at Baker, these were my numbers from this morning on Mount Baker. Um, I was thinking, and you can just take a look at it, but on two three, twelve, twenty on two four, twenty on two five, ten on two six, and the numbers just continue through two eight with another twenty. Um, that's when I was forecasting, and these are my morning numbers again, sixty to eighty inches up there between Stevens and Baker. Whistler could get 40 to, 40 to 50 according to my morning numbers. Now I've made some uh, adjustments to those numbers and let me just show you what I'm thinking now. All right, so the rest of today through the second, very light snow, quiet period. The only snow is one to three inches, uh, Montana, BC, Banff area, Pacific Northwest, barely anything there. All right, here's phase two. So this is 2.3 through 2.9, much bigger numbers, and 40 to 60 inches now, my forecast, for Whistler, Baker, and Stevens. So not as big as this morning, but still 40 to 60. Even 50 at Timberline, so looking good. Looks like about a foot for California, about a foot for the Wasatch, and about two feet for the Tetons. Couple of feet in Brundage, and in Colorado, uh, the big numbers are I-70 North, 6 to 12 inches, 2.3 through 2.9. Couple specialty maps uh, zooming in. Um, total snow 131 through 29 over the Tetons, about two feet. You can see the numbers Jackson, Grand Teton, and Grand Targhee. Second specialty map Colorado during the same period. 
Um, the bigger numbers are in the northern mountains, about 6 to 10 for I-70. And again, that's a grand total of snow, 131 through 29. Um, let's stop in the northeast. Barely anything here, kind of a 1 to 4, a little bit more of a white face, but generally 1 to 4, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Again, 1 to 2 clippers during that, that period, very fast moving and delivering only light snow. So there you go, guys. Uh, some things to look forward to once we get uh, um, the new flow settled in across the west. It'll start in the Pacific Northwest and BC, and then it'll bring uh, that moisture in as a storm system um, on or after 2-5. Thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care.